Today we're going to show you how to do the daily energy test on a Zoll M-Series DFIP. A um, couple of things about the DFIP. Obviously this is your Zoll M-Series DFIP. This is your multifunction cable. Um, and this is your test module that you'll use to do the daily test with every day. Um, in order to do the daily test, um, the, uh, the first thing you need to do is turn the DFib on to the DFib setting because you have, depending on what model you have, you'll have several, several different settings. So let's turn it to the DFib setting. You'll get a series of beeps. Check pads. And it'll tell you to check pads. You have poor pad contact right now because the multifunction cable isn't hooked up to anything. So that's why you're getting that error message. Um, on the test module, um, your test module should say on it, test defibrillator at 30 joules. So that's the joule setting that we're going to test the defib on every morning in the facility. So in order to do that, um, take your multifunction cable and plug it into the test module. Okay. All right. So now it's in place and you're going to get an error message that says defib pad short. And that's because in order to test, this test module has to short out the cable. Okay, so um, keeping in mind that it says that you have to test the defibrillator at 30 joules, when you turn the defibrillator on, it automatically is set by default at 120 joules. So we have to put that down to 30 joules. Okay, so now you're ready to do your daily test. Now I've opened the printer door just so I don't waste a bunch of paper here. Um, you probably won't because you'll want that for your records. Now, um, at the uh, top top of the, the of the uh, control panel here, you'll see the charge button. You want to press the charge button, and the defib will let you know when it gets to the proper joules. All right, so now you're ready to do your test. So go ahead and press shock, and you see up here it says test OK. It said test OK, and that's what you want to see. You want to see that test OK. Let's do it again um, one more time, okay? So we're going to cycle it up, 30 joules, press shock, Test OK. And that's what you want to see. That confirms that your defib's operating properly um, on, the, uh, on the output for joules. So, um, the defib pad short Check pads. is only when you have it plugged into the test module. When you plug it into the actual defib pads, we have a set here on our tester set up, um, you'll see that the poor pad contact error message will also go away. So, let's, uh, let's hook that up. And now you're ready to defib with a set of patient electrodes on. And uh, we'll just put this up to 50 joules so it won't be in test mode. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you that it operates properly. And after we press the shock button, you'll see the joules that are delivered on the bottom of your screen here. 48 joules delivered. So it's well within tolerances, and uh, this is a good working unit. Thanks a lot.